Um, my arm's not on. Gotta get in. Oh, wait, I'll, I'll just ask this guy. Um, excuse me, would you mind taking a photo of us? Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Okay, everybody say cheese. Oh, um, actually, I'm a vegan. Could you please have us say something else? <laughs> okay, everybody say tofu. Tofu is actually not as good for you as vegan sink. Any crossfitter will tell you that. It's bad for your testosterone levels. Okay, I'm sorry. How about we all just smile? Oh, if one more asshole asks me to smile. Not really an asshole. I'm taking a photo for you, so. What's there to smile about anyway? Okay. Would you like me to just count backwards from three? Oh, would you like dyslexic people to just not exist? My cousin has dyslexia, so offended. Adopted. Don't even know who my cousins are, so more offended. How about this? We all put a word we're comfortable with in our heads and I'll get the shot. No, it doesn't sound very inclusive, though, does it? I suppose you'd like us all to stand a few metres apart, would you, Stalin? Jesus Christ. Oh, I don't see what religion has to do with this. Well, I'm an atheist, so majorly triggered. Is that a comment on the gun debate? <laughs> Still trying to control people. But it's not just the people. Has anyone thought about the animals? Look, this is what we're going to do. Everybody throw up a peace sign and I'll take a photo. Wow. Cultural appropriation is alive and well. Why don't you just ask us to say Kung Fu? Guess what? New plan. Group selfie. Ready, set, go. Boom. And looks awesome. You're going to love it. What? Nice to meet you. Oh. You took it with the front camera, you stupid cyclist. It's about three o'clock. Got one second. Oh. Get him, I'm going to fucking kill you. I've got him for. I'm going to get on to fucking right now. Sorry about that, Paul. Yeah, go ahead. What do you have there today? Show and tell us. Tell us what you brought in today. Okay, you can have a seat. Thank you for showing. Just to recap the rules, uh, we show and then we talk about it. That's the tell part. Who's next? Philip. Philip, what do you have? I brought in a rock tip some monkeys underneath her pillow. Okay, that's great. Philip, thank you for that. It has a switch here to turn it on. Then it buzzes like a rocket ship. All right, you can have a seat now. Okay, Mr. D. Oh, in no. No, good. Is it okay? Okay, you know what? No, let's not do that. Oops. You broke his rocket ship. Oh, now you talk. So what do I mean by the secret spells of the English language? Well, let me share with you what I call our premier life sentence. And it goes something like this. We awake each morning and go off during the weekdays to earn the living at various jobs and undertakings until we come to the weekend. And this seems perfectly acceptable to most people. However, more people die between six and nine on a Monday morning than any other time of the week. So I do what I call a translation of the English language, and I spell that T-R-A-N-C-E with the idea that words cast spells. So when you translate that life sentence, you remember that a wake is a funeral party for the dead. Morning is the state you're in when you attend a wake. And you would have to be in a week days to earn the living, since urns are for the ashes of the dead. We call our jobs undertakings. Job itself is a Hebrew word for persecuted. And what we get at the end of this perverse bargain with life is the weak end of the deal as we become progressively weakened ourselves. And so our most prevalent greeting to each other is hello, the reverse of which is oh hell. And at first, I suspected the hands of collusion entangling the language to foster illusion. And I think it's quite true that a culture's theology has a great deal to do with a word's etymology and how it evolves over time to combine incompatible meanings that may undermine the original thoughts it was meant to define. But now, I don't think it's planned, for the thing that I've found is that like concepts can gravitate toward the same sound and vibrate at the rate that our thoughts designate. Because words are electromagnetic vibrations whose fine alphabetic tintinabulations can take on the tint of our true expectations, which they then imprint on our metal of mind, causing sounds to adhere when they're of the same kind. What's good, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. For the ones that are new, 
Welcome to Nelly's Tarot and more. Like, share, and subscribe so all your friends can find out what is good. <gasps> Relationship. Oh my goodness. For the week of September 13, 2021. How you all doing? I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's having a nice week. Have an awesome, awesome week. Okay. I apologize, my loves. I've been all over the place. You know, and I get home, it's to cook. Okay. So this is. I am not going to, um, how you say it? I cannot do home day readings because I got hit with um, nudity because of the pictures. So this is a raw deck that I made myself. And um, I said, let me, let me do it on Wednesdays. I've been trying to think how to incorporate this deck. And we're going to do it on Tuesday. Um, we're going to do it, um, I want to do it for, for Wednesdays, something special for Wednesdays, okay? I'm going to try to do dailies, my loves, if I have any time. I'm not home all day like I used to do, you know? Anyways, Aries, you have baby. It could be a baby on the way. It could be, you know. You want to make a baby. Maybe there is a baby that is going to be born this week. Okay. A baby boy. All right. Congratulations. Okay. For the ones that are not trying to have a baby. You might conceive a baby. So it's giving you a heads up. You know. Protect yourself. All right. Now let's see what is good with Taurus. Taurus, what is good with you? For the week of September 13, 2021, you have lover. You have lover, my love. So it could be somebody that is, is, is you know, you, you trying to... Trying to holler at somebody. Somebody's trying to holler at you. But you know. It's a lover in there. Okay my loves. Now let's see. What is good with. Is it Gemini? Gemini. <laughs> what is good with you? I'm sorry. I'm you know. I'm not. Gemini, you have in love with someone else. Gemini, maybe you um you lost somebody. You're making somebody as a priority right now. This person could be in love with someone else. There is another twist. It could be, you know, that you are with somebody. You are in a relationship. You, you, you're giving priority to somebody, but you're in love with someone else. Take that as a resonate. Oh, my God. When I was putting the card back, it said asshole. You probably were an asshole. Who knows? I don't want to say you're the asshole, you know. Gemini's can be an asshole. And I, listen... My biological father is a Gemini. My second born is a Gemini. And his cunt bitch grandmother is a Gemini. Oh, yeah. She's a big fat cunt. Anyways, who's next now? Um, Cancerian. 
What is good with you? You got what? How many? You got two. Woohoo! The first one is fake ass. And the second one is no. You. Oh! Red light special right here. Red light special, you know. It's sexy time, you know? Back in the 90s, there was a, um, a group of three women. They were called TLC. And they had this song called Red Light Special. Go look for it. Go look for it. I'm never going to sing it. Okay? So, yeah. It says stop. So, you know? And then these two wanted to pop out. All three. You got the blues. You have that. And you have health. Oh, I don't like these three together because it's kind of saying, you know, you, you, for some of you, you are depressed because of your father's health. I am so sorry. Okay. Now let's go with Leo. Leo, what is good with you? For the week of September 13, 2021. Okay, okay. You have, you give me butterflies. And then you have, oh shit! <laughs> so Leo, maybe you realizing that somebody's giving you butterflies. That is so sexy. And you didn't really notice, you know, that like all of the sudden is it's like, you know, like an epiphany about it. Now let's go with Virgo. Virgo, what is good with you? You have in the dark. In the dark. Are you hiding something, Virgo? Are you keeping something in the dark? Oh, you know, so somebody. <laughs> I'm gonna put it away and blue balls is here. Okay. So uh, maybe you keep it in the dark that you like somebody and you're not giving them attention. And, you know, it, it's, um, you containing the urge to go reach at this person. I don't know why, but you know, you got blue balls. I mean, somebody you, is really tickling your fancy and you're not pursuing Maybe there is something in the dark that you're hiding. Are you, do you have a relationship and that's the reason? That's the reason! Let me stop. Now let's go with Libra. Libra. What is good with you? Okay, Libra. You're pretty busy up in here. All right. Okay. You have money. You have travel. You have, you give me butterflies. You got sexy. And then you have gangsta. I just want to run. You. Look, vacation. <laughs> you know, let's keep putting rainy days. Maybe you sad. Okay. Off. So maybe you know you have rainy days and they no more rainy days. Okay. Lover. Sorry about that, Libra. 
You have a baby over here. And it's a baby boy. Okay. It could be a son. X right here. Okay, Libra. Now let's go with Scorpio. Scorpio. What is good with you? For the week of September 13, 2021. This channel... Started with weeklies, only weekly, then it started the weekend and home days. Well, I'm gonna do this for weekly, okay? At least if I'm not, if I don't have the chance to do a daily, I'm gonna do the you know, a weekly, okay, my loves. You have is a trap, it's a trap. What is a trap? Scorpio, I don't know. Transition. Now let's go with Sagittarius. Saggy, what is good with you? For the week of September 13, 2021. Okay, you have I am in love. <gasps> Fornication. Let me see what else comes out. <gasps> it says stop. Okay, maybe you are a sex addict. You know, having many holes in different area codes. Saji, don't say no to me for the ones that resonate, you know, because I mean, you know, I mean, Saji motherfucking Tarius is so sexy, you know, it, it's like one of the sexiest of the zodiac Sajis. <laughs> Capricorn, what is good with you? For the week of September 13, 2021. Okay. You have that. Okay. And then it says X. Okay. And he's saying sexual healing. Do you still have the hearts for you, ex? Hmm? That's what he's saying. Oh, yes, you do. It's on. It's on. You still have the hearts for you, ex. If you're female, it's your baby daddy. If you're a guy, you're a dad, and you still have the hearts for you, ex. No, your baby mama? Yeah. Now, let's go with Aquarius. Aquarius, what is good with you? You have on. What is on? I just grabbed it and then mom are you maybe thinking that you might be pregnant this might be the answer that you are pregnant okay um if there is something going on with your mom that could um also be a reference okay
you could be maybe in the process you you want to become a mom and you, it's kind of uncertain for you you maybe had infertility problems or just don't get pregnant don't um preg don't get pregnant so you know that's um that is a sign that you will get pregnant. Who was I doing? Oh, I'm doing Pisces now. Pisces. You got fast and furious. <laughs> Pisces. I'm laughing because I'm a Pisces, okay? And one time I was um, talking to a Virgo. Well, uh, it's... Um, I think it's the last, hold on. So like I was saying, <laughs> what was I saying? Okay. I have, ever since I broke up with my ex-husband, the guys that I have dated, you know, that we went out to, you know, we went out and whatever, they all been Virgo. So the last Virgo that I was, you know, talking to. <laughs> I said fast and furious. <laughs> so Pisces, I mean, I'm not taking that as a reference. Fast and furious. When I say fast and furious, it, it means somebody that is not holding. It's not holding um, their desires for you. You know, they, they, um, it's probably somebody that's going to swim by and, you know, going to be like, Hey, what's up, Pisces? How you doing, Pisces? Ooh, Pisces. When I'm opening, it says engagement. Pisces, you might end up dating somebody. Let, look, you might end up dating somebody and I don't know if it's your sex or your energy or... Or maybe you guys had a time that you were apart and now you're getting back to, you know, communication or, or you know, relations back. And this person is going to be like, no, I'm not letting go by seeing this time. I'm, I'm engagement right away. You know, let, let's let's do this. Let's do this right away. Very fast and furious. And as I'm saying, I'm, you know, thinking how am I going to put all this together to tell you, it says yes. So Pisces, when you start dating somebody, look again, I part and it said fast and furious. They are going to be like, I'm not letting go Piscean this time. That's what it means, Pisces. Now let's go with collective. Collective. What is good with you? For the week of September 13, 2021. This channel is going to be two years pretty soon. Oh my God. I got to get a cake. What? Collective. You have home record. You're either a homewrecker or you going to date a homewrecker, meaning you are in a relationship and you're not supposed to be dating other people, right? <laughs> relationship card. Ah, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? This is not tarot, but, you know, new job over here. I, I, I was, you know, keep parting. Let me part one more time. I want to see what it says. Music. I don't know. Maybe, you know, you guys are going to be listening to music. And then, you know, all of a sudden, ooh, you know. The stripper is, is going to come out of you. Is that what's going to happen? That's what I got for you. Take care. God bless. Have an awesome week. See you next time. Bye. Because even if you've been fully vaccinated and protected from severe illness from COVID-19, you could have the Delta variant in your system. 
and spread it to someone who isn't vaccinated. So now if you're vaccinated, you could be spreading it? Why? Because even if you've been fully vaccinated and protected from severe illness from COVID-19, you could have the Delta variant in your system and spread it to someone who isn't vaccinated. 